Singer-songwriter John Party has just added platinum-selling artists to his resume for his second studio album, California Sunrise. The country music star is now on tour with Dirk Bentley, but I sat down with him to speak about his road to success and his special connection to Newfoundland. Working on the night shift, baby. I love your story because it's like a country music song. You were 22 when you moved to Nashville. You wanted to pursue a career in country music. You've had two successful albums, a ton of hit singles on country radio. You've put in a lot of work to get to where you've at. And you've said that you learned a lot by flying under the radar, sitting back and watching. So what did you learn? To be patient, focus on songwriting, not on the glitz and glamour. Focus on me, my sound, and not what people want or what the trend on radio was. Just laying low, being myself. Even you, know, you talk about the 22 year old dude. Yeah. When you have to drive 3,500 miles to get to a place you've never been before, I always said that's gonna be a crappy ride back. And uh, that was always what kept me going. Might have a little dirt on my boots, but I'm taking you uptown tonight. I'm always interested in the process for songwriters. Everybody has their own way of doing it. What's your favorite way to sit down and get a song? My favorite way to start a song is a melody that's really infectious and fun to sing. Because if you have that and then you can craft lyrics to that, it just really blends together nice and it helps people remember the song. Cause you're the one I want, you're the one I need. Is it still a rush for you when people sing back to you a song that you've created? Oh yeah, that'll never not be a rush. It's a rush playing new music, but it's also kind of like, the crowd doesn't know it yet. They never heard it. Like, you know, they, they're gonna like it. Do they not like it? They, they were confused looking. It's that patience of like, calm down. Just keep playing it. You gotta, you gotta, they, they're, they're listening. The fans are listening. They've never heard it before. So that's the, the only thing, but it's still a rush playing new music that they don't even sing along with. Do you feel the pressure to make music that sells or to make music that you want to create? I think you have to have both. And I, I truly believe if I feel good, the inside super fan of country music that's in here, if that guy's happy, I know the crowd will be happy and the fans. And so I kind of I kind of stick to that. She was a You said you have 18 tracks ready to go for this new album. What can you tell me about it? It's going to be really hard to uh, get them down to 12 or 14 or whatever we're doing. It's very upbeat. There's not any slow songs. I love that you are so focused. And I feel like the guy who landed at 22 years old knew that you and I would be sitting here doing a television interview someday. I never thought in ca Canada, but <laughs> my grandmother who got me in to country music at really young, she was from Newfoundland. Nice. And so I always kind of knew that Country music was big in Canada or Newfoundland, so. John, have you been to Newfoundland? I have not. The whole province sings and writes music. Music is everywhere in that province. I know, that's what everybody tells me, it's so amazing. So that's on the bucket list. So we're trying to get over there. Uh, but, Newfoundland, uh, you need to book John. <laughs> yeah, it'd be fun. <laughs> it'd be fun. My grandma would uh, surely, in, she'll be there in spirit. I think they're ready for you in Newfoundland. I'm ready. <laughs> Good to talk to you, thank you. Good to talk to you.